This summer, I worked as a research and development intern at HP's Vancouver site under Jay Gondek, a color scientist, and my mentor. In this position, my goal was to develop a program that takes images as inputs, then automatically edits them, namely color correction and other basic changes, to the same caliber that could be achieved by an average person with a smartphone. It quickly became apparent that an interesting way to do this would be to use machine learning to analyze patterns that exist between properties of images and the way they were edited by hand. I could then use these patterns to automatically edit new images. I used Python, which is a programming language commonly used for data science in order to write a machine learning algorithm that compares various aspects of the composition of images and compares that with exactly how those images were edited by hand. These aspects were the range and standard deviation of each of the saturation and value channels for changes to saturation and contrast, respectively, as well as the standard deviation and median of the value channel for changes to brightness. I created a testing set of 100 images, all of which I manually edited to train the algorithm over 20,000 iterations, because at this point improvements become negligible. These are some examples of raw and machine edited images. When compared with hand editing on a new testing set, the average and median error rates were 8.17% and 5.55% respectively, meaning the algorithm was reasonably true to what I, who created the training and testing set, wanted. It is noteworthy, however, that because I was the one who edited all the images in the training set, the program is calibrated exactly to my liking, which is borderline cartoon-like in colorfulness. This is especially apparent in skin tones and faces, in which our eyes are more sensitive to unnatural changes. Here's an example of oversaturated skin. Another area with which the algorithm struggles is in images that have a strongly skewed distribution with either high or low values. In these cases, there's a very clustered distribution of color composition, so the program alters it very aggressively but this tends to be too much for whichever part of the image is already at an extreme. For example, this image has a very bright area, but nothing very close to pure black. So, while the ocean will look darker, increasing dynamic range, the clouds become blown out. Overall, this preliminary version can be considered a success, as it does improve color expression and dynamic range for most images. Facial detection is an avenue for future development to highlight features and skin tones as well as avoiding oversaturation on images with people in them. Changing to localized editing could solve the issue of skewed histograms. For example, if an image already has very bright regions but not dark ones, the algorithm would expand the darks without causing clipping and compression of the brights. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.